Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you um, this, the difference between these two options. So when you try to load a family into your project, and uh, there's already uh, the same a family with the same name in that project, so what do you do? Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to um, just start from scratch. So I'll just quickly model a a family first, so it will be generic model. And so let's create some create some reference plans RP and dimensions di equal dimen dimension oops dimension oh so what's going on dimension and equal okay so another two dimension one two one two okay so select these two dimension and then let's create a parameter let's call it w for width and it need to be type okay so and also i want to oh, that's okay so create an extrusion rectangle start from this corner to this corner lock 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 and now we can also uh, link this to w so now if I finish it, go to 3D view. So now we will see that this is a box. Okay, so go family types. So we can change this. Okay, so currently there's, there's no type. Okay, so no type. So let's create a, a couple of types. So click on this new type. And the first one, I will just use, uh, name it 300 to match the size. Okay, so apply. So now we have one type and then click on this again. So let's create another one. So the other one will be maybe 400. Okay, so click OK uh, and uh, go here. So here I'm, uh, let's, I'll just pretend I just uh, accidentally type a wrong number in here. Okay, so, and I will notice this later. <laughs> So click OK. So now we have two types. So go if you go to family types, so you will see one, which is 300, one is 300, 400, the name, okay? So, and then, okay, so that's, that's, that's the family. So let's just finish this. Go to create a new project. And, okay, so now, uh, we can type WT, so we have the project on the left hand side and the family family on the right hand side. So now let's load this into the project. Okay, so I'll place it here and place another one here. So now uh, let me just change this one to the 401 and then I just do a dimension on, oh, and I notice that oh, the, the dimension is wrong. So now you have two options. Of course, you can edit this in here. Just change this to 400 and that's it. But because um, this, so pretend this is a product, uh, I might uh, uh, need it for other projects. So I want to model it pro properly so i can save it in our library so so i want to go back to the family and fix it so in the family types okay so now i just go to the family go to family types and go under so 300 which is correct 400 which is not correct so i want to change this value so if i change this back to 400 click ok and Okay, so now the size here is correct, and um, if if I want to use this family to override overwrite this one, so I need to use the second option. Okay, so I'll show you. If I use the first one, nothing changed. So you will see, go edit type is still 440. Okay, so if I control Z just once, okay, so go back to um, previous 
So before I override the family, and then go back to this family and load into project again. So if I this time if I change, uh, uh, choose the second option, so you will see the size of this family change. Okay, so okay, so this is one options. Oh, sorry, not one option. One example. Now let me just show you another example. So for example, I'm still uh, I'm continuing uh, develop this family. Okay, so uh, let's go to family types. So now I start to uh, type in the the product. Um, so for example, the model. I'll just type in some numbers. To pretend that's some information I uh, I get uh, from 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 a manufacturer or whatever <laughs> resource. Uh, so this okay. So for example, these are some information I have. I want to put it there. So next time when I use it, I roughly know uh, where what uh, manufacturer or where I get more information if I need to. So click OK. So now they are there. So they are there. If I want to um, because I don't want to do it again, so go to here and type in everything. So I, if I want to load this information into this, okay, so I can actually, I can choose anyone, any option, because there's no value in this project, sorry, in the family in this project. So in the, oh sorry, in here, because it's empty. So if it's empty, doesn't matter which one you choose. So for example, I'll just choose the first one. Okay. And then I go to edit type, you will see all the information is here. Of course, if I control Z, go back to family, load this into the project, choose the second one. Of course, they are here as well. Okay, so now let me just control, oh, hang on. Um, I'll just keep this information here. But this time, instead of, you know, uh, from from empty to some, some something, this time I'm going to just uh, change this information. So for example, I just change this in the family. Okay, and load this family into the project. So this time they will be different because there's already some uh, parameter values in in there in this family. So if I use the first one, so you will see they are still the old one. You won't change anything. Okay, so let me just Control Z, go back, load override with the parameter values. So now if you go here, you will see all the information has been changed. Okay, it looks like the second option is quite useful, but actually in, I'm not sure about, um, you know, uh, maybe, Personally, I do not use the second one. Most of the time, I will use the first option. So maybe try to stick with the first one, because the second one is only when you you know what you're doing. You know you, you want to change something. You need to overwrite something, because you just need to be careful, because uh, sometimes you might just mess up your entire project because so for example you have some uh, specific type with some specific you know dimensions and there might be like a, a tens of them in your project and you might just mess up all the dimensions um, okay so now let me just show you another uh, very important thing about this so uh, for example, these two type on the, uh, in this project, so there are 300 and 400. These are 
their name, type name. Okay, so in the family, they, the names are the same. So this is, um, so on the overwrite with parameter only works if the names, the type names are, sa are the same. Okay, so if you change, so for example, if you change this family types, so for example, for this one, I'll, I want to change it, I'll call it a 400 um, uh, uh, for project A, I don't know, I just, I just call it a different name, okay, so, okay, so if I, if I, if I change it, the type name, so for this one, and if I go back to this family, because into the family it's still called 400, right? And then uh, if I change anything here, so um, I'll just change back to number and I click OK. And now if I load this back into the project, and even I click, I use this the second option, it won't affect this uh this type. It won't affect this type of code because the type names are different. See, as still letters. Instead, it uh, will create a new type. See, relative to um, it's new to the project because previously I changed the four hundred to this. Okay, so if I change this one to four hundred. And then if I click this again, which you will see these are the new information. Okay, so let me let me quickly show you another example. So here this family, so I'll just give uh, a material. So I'm not going to create a parameter for the material. So if I just assign a uh, a material for, to it. So for example, I'll just give it the glass material. And if I load into a project, I don't need to use the second one. Okay, so the first one is enough. So if I click first one, and then uh, let me just change this to uh, maybe a uh, shade. So you will see it become a glass uh, box. Okay, so, okay, so now let's go, um, back control z go back and let's go uh, edit this family so this time i'm um, instead of uh, just give it a material uh, directly i'm going to create a parameter okay so i'll create a parameter let's call it a uh, uh, material so type okay and okay so i will uh um, currently is glass. I'll, I'll just try this. Okay, so load this into the uh, project. I suspect it will change to uh, the material of this will change to glass because previously there's nothing. Okay, so there's nothing. So if I change the shape, yeah, that's correct. So this is a box with this uh, material a parameter uh, glass material. Okay, so now if I go back to family and change the change, change uh, so uh, we need to go to family types because uh, it's linked to a material. So if I change the material in the family, so and so uh, I'll just change it to any other, so maybe this one, uh, maybe this one, maybe this one, yeah, green color, that's good. Click OK and click OK. So now it's changed. Let me just change this to shade. Yep. So if I load this into the project, and this time if I if I choose um, the first option, you will see it won't change the material of this uh, family because it will not overwrite the material. It will not overwrite the material of this family. So only when let me just control Z. Only when you load this into the project, and if you pick the second one, it will 
overwrite the value which here the material of this family type okay so which is 400 say same this uh this is 400 this is 400 as well of, of course if you you can also so go back to family and uh currently 300 so if i want to overwrite the material of the 300 type you need you can also do that so okay okay and load and then you need to pick the second one okay so that's it so um just remember if you want to over if if it's not a parameter it's not a for example, if it's not uh, a material in the parameter, it's just if it's just a material assigned here, assigned to the family, you don't need to pick the second one. You can just use the first one. So if let me just show you, <laughs> if you if I delete delete this parameter, if I delete this material parameter, which means I can just change this material globally like uh i'll change this to yeah that's nice yellow color so if i load this into the project it will you can just use the first one and it will change all the material of this family clear <laughs> um yeah um i think it's yeah it's a bit confusing i i, I, I agree because uh it took me a while to understand what uh, what's happening every time but most i i think to, to be safe to be safe if you're not sure always pick the top one okay so only use the second one if you know what exactly what you're doing okay so that's it for today uh if you have any questions please, please let me know i'll See you next time. Thank you. Bye.